Hello again. I wasn't uh, about to shoot this uh, video, uh, however, after three flies uh, of these rare stimulators, I uh, asked myself why not? Why not shoot uh, how to try this fly? So I just turn on uh, the camera. Uh, as I said, this is a this is a fly. It's called Royal Stimulator. The stimulator is probably best known and most popular dry fly or at least a big dry fly in the world it's uh, coming as I remember from Montana or at, at least the uh, west of US uh, this is a variation it's uh, normally it's a darker darker wing this is this is actually elk uh, it is a uh, bull elk body hair bull uh, or you can use some light uh, in color deer hair or any other antelope but uh, generally generally um, the royal version have lighter uh, color of wing and this peacock and red in in the body uh, otherwise it's very similar uh, for me it's very similar to the stimulator mm. I'm just tying it for my new, new dry fly, uh, dry fly fly box, uh, and I started with this because I really like to fish them. Uh, what this can represent, or any other similar flies, it's all basically the same, like uh, the chubby Chernobyl or the stimulator and all these big flies. It can represent nothing and and all uh, as uh, in the same way. It it can represent the, the stone fly, salmon fly, big one. Also, uh, of of course, depends on the size and colors. Uh, it can be, you know, hopper. It can be uh, some big drakes, some crickets, some even caddies in the right color, uh, anything uh, meaty, you know, anything war. Uh, it it looks like something that uh, needs to be eaten for fish probably, and it's a uh, more like uh, an attractor dry fly for me. Uh, I like it for for stalkers for for brook trouts, uh, but also for uh, native brown trouts, uh, these are great. Um, yeah, so that's roughly about a fly. This is size eight. I would tie uh, size 10 as well. And for the classic version, I tie even size six, which is quite a bigger. But usually the, the common size for me is eight or 10, 8. Yeah, so this is size 8. The, the hook is Jemco uh, 200R or Jemco 2312 or any other this this kind of banded hook. Uh, yeah, uh, just the barb, the hook, and for thread for this this version, I'm using a red one, 50 denier, nano silk red. You can use 100 denier as well. Uh, there's a danger that the tooting thread will cut the the hair, deer hair. So first, I will cover the hook shank and make a thread base. Uh, we'll just move the hook and we're going all the way somewhere in here and as I said this is a bull the elk body it's bright in color but you can use I will also use this uh, on some later, uh, later flies uh, I'm even not sure what is is uh, probably 
is probably a deer uh, but you can use deer standard deer hair uh, what you like but I think the, the brighter color here light lighter color so it's better than on classic I, I will use a darker one so now I just take a bunch of these trim them and now take a hair brush the dense one and remove this all the I don't know under fur how it's called because otherwise you can it will not slide in a sticker so remove this put it in a sticker and uh, tie this in just I use a, a bunch of these by making them short I will make one loose wrap here and the other and I will tighten this and I'm still keeping the, the steps and try to keep it on top of the hook like this yeah. and I'll also keep this tied down I will shave my basic on the body Okay, secure this well so we want to rotate trim this and then some angle cover it and we are going to tie in the heckle the body heckles uh, it's a brown I'm using here a gen uh, genetic uh, rooster brown I'm not still sure if this is better than classic because the classic will I will tie by the tip and it will increase a bit while this is uh, all the way the same width but this is uh, yeah it's easier to work with actually so I'm using this because I'm lazy now we need a pickaxe hero, two strands is enough, tie them in, I will trim the waist and we will shape kind of butt here, as you can see working with both at once. You can try to twist it, uh, it can help, maybe I will have to as well. Twist them together, so they stay close. Okay, I think it's fine. And uh, trim, secure well. We need now some red floss. I use an unifloss, red. Uh, you can use silk if you have, or some body body thread red. But the floss is is good. It's cheap, so tie in a piece. We are going to wrap it we'll just remove hook, uh, move hook. Uh, how long it's it will be about a half of the of the actual body the end of the red portion when I Started tying flies 
probably one of the biggest issue I had was always that I didn't have enough space in front of after I tied a fly or uh, most of the fly. Uh, if you are just starting, don't worry, you will, you will get used to, you, you, will, you will learn this how to, even with the new flies, uh, you will be able to do it correctly. Uh, yeah, so now, uh, what I'm saying this is to keep enough space here, of course, be, for, for the front part, this, this orange, the wing. Uh, and we're going now for two more strands of peacock hair. Tying. And make this second bulk of our peacock. It's just fine. Oh, come on, come on. They, it was just fine. <laughs> um, it's a bit short, but uh, I was secure. This, you know. trim when you uh, when your pick a hair is breaking too much it's all then you should get a new one now I will already start wrapping the the, the heckle how the ends it's actually on you don't go crazy I will do like five maybe and secure Now we go in for the wing. It's good to use straw. One guy just thanked me for the tip uh, last week, I believe. Uh, so I will say it again because if you knew to fly time, maybe nobody told you this or didn't you see this. Um, just use straw to keep your hackles back. Uh, it should be cut, cut it uh, so you can put it on thread uh, anytime you want. And uh, yeah, we're going for the wing, so it's the same, the elk body bull hair. Now, just a bit more than before, of course. Remove this under, under, under fur, under fur, under fur, and again. Even tips in a sticker. This part is a bit tricky. What well, is good uh, is to put here a bit of super glue, or I'm putting there just a drop of varnish, or I'll just drop like this. Okay, uh, remove this and yeah I have some reversed force I don't know how now I tie this just a slightly shorter than the than the tail is so something like this I will put it here and my second hand fingers I will keep it in here now I will take a thread and we'll make one loose thread wrap but without the if you can see without the hook just around this the, the these hairs and down and I will tighten this and start to secure this not 
not all in one place. I try to actually secure them in a wall space between the wing and the hook eye. Yep. And still keeping this. And you have the wing. Now I have to cut all this waste. Okay, um, and now I will wear very strong thread wraps, secure these front ends, but don't go crazy, don't be so strong on, the, on here because you can actually cut the deer hair. So this, I'm doing a bit more loose, and it's now rising a bit, bit too much still, but I will push it down slightly with the with the dub in for, for the front thorax or how to call this. Uh, now we need a grizzly heckle. I'm using the standard in here. Remove the fuzzy stuff, and we will make just like two turns or something like this. The bin for this uh, use some orange uh, you can use some dry fly dub bin like fly ride right. this is the this is the right color it is 18 rusty orange where is this is here rusty orange it's good color but I'm using here just uh, Hare with a uh, with eyes eyes up. Uh, it's uh, probably not the best because it was soaking some water. But as you will see, I'm not do, doing uh, actually a, a shape with this. I'm I would tie very tiny, very slender dabbing brush, and I would just like add a color with this dubbing because we have already enough mass here uh, I mean volume so just tiny push the wink a bit down with the, with the with this and just cover this Take uh, a curl plier and, as I said, just make. Or maybe I will do this with just fingers, and just make like two, three. Three is enough, far enough. Um, Trim or take the straw and put it in here and shape a little hat, secure all the across, and yeah, we finish. Trim this. Okay, there's some, yes, and uh, Last but not uh, least will be a drop of varnish. Trim. 
trim thread. And here we go, it's a real stimulator. Uh, gray fly, I mean, uh, summer fly. Uh, I really like these flies, I like to fish big tries, even we are not here in Western America still. Um, I have plenty of use. It's great for chaps, it's great for trouts. I can even take trailing on uh, this fly. I, I still n not sure how uh, with his small mouth, but I catch several graylings on stimulators like size 8. Um, Oh, we'll just remove this fiber for the camera, and yep, that's the that's the real stimulator. Uh, first inhabitants of my new dry fly box. So thanks for watching. Uh, hope some of you will find it useful. If you never tried stimulator, try it and try even the. Even the Rouse Team Rider. Thanks for watching and uh, bye.